Hey everyone, I gotta say, I am really excited to do this video today because I got a box. Ugh. A big box filled with books that my father-in-law ended up dropping by my house a couple days ago. He's had this box filled with books stuck in storage for over 30 years. And I know he used to be big into fantasy and sci-fi way back in the day. So it's probably filled with a bunch of vintage science fiction and fantasy novels. So I thought I might as well open it up on camera and film it and see what we have. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's full. All right, let's just start. Let's see what we have. First book we have, The Black Company, Glittering Stone One by Glenn Cook. Not a book I've ever heard of. Actually, an author I've never heard of as well. So we'll check that out, see what that's like. And then we have Janet Morris, Thieves World Beyond Sanctuary. Again, I'm assuming Thieves World is probably the series. Janet Morris, I've heard the name, never read any books from her though. Um, never heard of this series either, but might be interesting to check out. And then we have David Eddings, the Cirrus of Kel. Okay. I do have a, a David and Lay Eddings book um, already in my bookshelf. David and Lay are a husband and wife um, author combo. So that's kind of interesting that uh, we have another David Eddings book. Haven't read this one. Haven't actually read that other book I have. It's on my TBR, but that's kind of interesting. Okay, looks like we have another book in the Thieves World uh, series. This is again by Janet Morris, Beyond the Veil. Looks pretty interesting. All right, this book is a little different. Lies Across America. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is a sequel to The Lies My Teacher Told Me. I've actually heard of that book before. Never read it, but that seems like it would be a pretty interesting read. I might check that out soon, sooner rather than later. Okay, and then we have, ooh, Foundation and Chaos. It says this is the second Foundation trilogy, written by, not Isaac Asimov though, written by Greg Bear. Oh, it's authorized by the state, the estate of Isaac Asimov. So that might be interesting to check out. I absolutely love the Foundation trilogy by Isaac Asimov. That's honestly one of the best trilogies I've ever read. So definitely want to check out this book, you know. Look it up, see, see if it's any good. Now then we have another Isaac Asimov. This is the new Isaac Asimov's robot mystery Mirage by Mark W. Tideman. Again, I am assuming this is actually authorized by the estate of Isaac Asimov. It's not actually by Isaac Asimov. Um, but Isaac Asimov's Robot series is, again, an absolute classic series, in my opinion. So I might check out this book, see what it's like. It's kind of neat. Okay, oh, another Glenn Cook book. Annals of the Black Company. Yeah, that looks kind of interesting. Again, I've never read any Glenn Cook books. I've actually never heard of Glenn Cook before. But, you know, cover looks pretty interesting. Okay, next we have another Thieves World book, but this one's not by Janet Morris. This one is by Andrew J. Offit. I don't know, but it's the same, same series, I'm assuming. I guess it's just written by another author. Looks pretty interesting. Oh, okay, so this is also another Foundation book. Uh, so unlike Foundation and Chaos... This one is Foundation's Fear. This one's by Gregory Benford. Again, not written by Isaac Asimov. Must be done through his estate. Uh, but interesting. I want to check that out. Okay, now we have more Isaac Asimov. Okay. This is Caliban by, Ro by Roger McBride Allen. Okay, so again... Not, not written by Isaac Asimov, probably done through his estate, but uh, looks interesting. 
Okay, what is this? More, more Isaac Asimov that's not written by Isaac Asimov. This is another Mark W. Tideman book called, what is that? Chimer? Or, Chi oh, Chimera. <laughs> Couldn't read that font for a second. Yeah, Chimera. Interesting. Okay, oh, here's another David and Leigh Eddings book. This is Bell Gareth the Sorcerer. Okay. I'm not sure if that's part of a series. Never heard of this book either before. Interesting. Okay, another Glenn Cook book. The Black Company Goes South. Interesting. Again, haven't heard of it. <laughs> haven't heard of, like, any of these books. Oh, more Thieves' World. This is another one by Janet Morris. This is called Beyond the Wizard Wall. Wizard Wall, one word? Wizard Wall, one word. Okay, interesting. Thieves' World. These are actually, all these Thieves' World books are pretty short, so they'd probably be pretty easy reads, so I might actually check, check these out, see if they're any good. Oh, more Foundation that's not by Isaac Asimov. This is Foundation's Triumph, and this one's by David, David Brin. Okay. Interesting. It's pretty neat. Let's see what else we have in here. More Isaac Asimov, not by Isaac Asimov. This one, again, is by that Mark W. Tideman. This book is called Aurora. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And we have Temerare. Tem Temerare? I have no idea how to pronounce that. This is by Naomi Novik. Okay, different author now. Haven't read anything from Naomi Novik, but looks like a pretty interesting book. Has dragons in it. That's cool, at least. <laughs> okay, let's see. Prince of Chaos by Roger Zel Zelanzi? Zelazny. Zelazny, sorry. Okay, another short book. Probably, probably quick read, so I might check that out as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, and here's a book I've actually heard of before. Awesome. Look at this. Tolkien, The Silmarillion. This is awesome. I actually already own this book, but this is like a super old edition of this. That's, that's cool. When's the copyright of this? Just out of curiosity. 1977, so almost 50 years old. That's pretty cool. That's a nice addition of that book. I'm definitely going to hold on to this. <laughs> okay, another David Eddings book, The Hidden City. The Hidden City? Yes, The Hidden City. Okay. Interesting. I'm running out of table space. Man from Mundania by Piers Anthony. This kind of looks like a children's book. Um at least based off of the artwork, not to stereotype it, but it does kind of look like a children's book. Might check this out. Okay, what else do we have in here? Oh, Terry Brooks, The Voyage of the... Oh, this is part of the Shannara series. Shannara or Shannara? I'm, I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce that, but I know Terry Brooks was a pretty popular author back in the day. Definitely not as popular anymore, but back in like the 70s, he was he was very popular for the Shannara or Shannara series. If anyone knows how to pronounce that, let me know. Is it pronounced Shannara as an air as in what you breathe or Shannara as an R or like what a pirate says? I, I don't know, but um, I don't know which book this is in the Shannara series, but that's kind of neat. Might want to check that out. I've always been interested in reading Terry Brooks before, so that's pretty cool. Okay, the, well, the Belga Belgariade, the Belgariade Part 2, another David Eddings book. Okay, a lot of David Eddings, a lot of Isaac Asimov that's not written by Isaac Asimov in this book. <laughs> I guess we know what my father-in-law was a fan of. Again, David and Leigh Eddings. This is, what is that, Pol... Polgara the Sorceress. Polgara the Sorceress? Polgara the Sorceress. Okay, cool, cool. 
Radiant. Here we go. Different author. James Allen Gardiner. Okay. Hmm. So a lot of... Definitely a good mix of uh, sci-fi and fantasy in this. Pretty much all the sci-fi related books are Isaac Asimov related other than so far this one. But as for Isaac Asimov, there you go. This one is written by Roger McBride Allen again. Okay, so another another Allen book. This is, what is that? I can't even read that font. Utopia. Interesting, okay. Night of the Shadows by Roger Zelazny again. Another one of those books. That's pretty cool. Unicorn. Okay. <laughs> Getting near the bottom. Harry Harrison, the stainless steel rat, sings the blues. What? <laughs> that is a... That's an interesting title for a book. Okay. More Isaac Asimov. This one again by Roger McBride Allen. This book is Inferno. Okay. Tons of Isaac Asimov. <sighs> More Isaac Asimov. I bought. Time was? I bought? Oh, I bought's Time was? I don't even know. Steve Perry and Gary A. Bronbeck. Okay. And then the final book, another Glenn Cook book, The Black Company, Glittering Stone 2. Fascinating. Wow, this is a, yeah, this is definitely quite the collection of vintage related science fiction and fantasy books. Let's see if I can kind of get all these. <sighs> I don't know if this is all in frame. <laughs> so let's see how many books we have total. 1, 2, 3, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 32 books total. And like I thought, this is definitely a collection of vintage. I'm going to consider it vintage related books. I don't know if they are technically vintage. They're all probably about 40 years old. Maybe they're not, not quite vintage yet, but we're going to say they are because it sounds better. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a lot of vintage related science fiction and fantasy books. None of the books, you know, tons of Isaac Asimov books, but none actually by Isaac Asimov himself. Um, I think there was one Terry Brooks book. I've heard of him as well. And, you know, seems like a lot of uh, niche related fantasy and science fiction uh, novels in, in this collection. But you know, pretty interesting. If you've heard of any of these series or any of these authors, please let me know down in the comments below. Or if you have any recommendations on any of these that I should absolutely read, also let me know. Thanks for watching. Oh, and also, did I forget to mention? <sighs> I have another box. Stay tuned for part two.